Um, you know, they, they're a tough team. It's, you know, it's like SEC play. Uh, we do what we need to do. We'll get the result we, uh, we want, you know, execute coach's plan and play like we know we could play. What stands out about that run game? Stands out about that run game is, um, you know, down here, there ain't nobody trying to sidestep nobody. It's like SEC running, going to be real tough. We just got to make sure we do what we need to do, follow coach's plan, you know, fit the right gaps out, good gap integrity, and we'll be successful. Um, definitely, because you know everybody, the game won up front, so just treat this game like another one, just the next opponent. Does being a home underdog motivate you guys at all? Um, I mean that's a, that's just rap poison. Of course we hear it, but at the end of the day, uh, we do what we need to do. We'll be just fine. Yeah, uh, but not necessarily bothers me, not because I don't really listen to it. So how do you think the, you guys have fit the run over three weeks? Fit the run, of course. Uh, I feel like we did a, did a pretty good job. Of course, there's always room for improvement, but uh, just getting better with each game. This game being a ga uh, game four, but it's a big challenge. So, see what we made. Uh, what the, what's the key to t making those improvements in the run field? Um, just you know, having good hand placement, doing doing our assignment, not trying to make too many plays or trying to do anything just spectacular. Just doing our assignment, and handling job one. I'm sure you noticed you, know, you had some time to look back at film over the bye week. Would you kind of notice, you know, positives and negatives from yourself and your kind of each unit when you look back? Um, we, when we don't want the court, it's hard to beat us. But when, you know, somebody not necessarily doing their job here or there, it's, of course, it's going to be easy. But when you, we want band, one sound, we make some beautiful music. What's been the message from the coaching staff this week heading into Georgia on Saturday? Um, same as, uh, Next, I mean, same as the weeks in the past, just go one to know every day, go one to know every play, go one to know every meeting. Just try to get better than you did yesterday. Tyler mentioned he was uh, building Legos in his free time over the bye week. How did you kind of get to spend some time off? Did you do anything fun? Yeah, I uh, went back home, went to go see little brother play, uh, spent some time with my fraternity brother. You feel me? I got this nice new hairdo. <laughs> then make sure y'all get a good picture, get a good angle. So, yeah, it's been, it's been real smooth. Got to spend some time with my folks. Uh, seeing my niece and my nephew, they, they came down from Huntsville. So it was just good uh, family off time at in Birmingham. It's the first time in almost over a decade that Alabama's opened with a top 10 opponent in SEC play. Does that change anything to, to, to y'all's mindset uh, with, with, the, with this game, or does that add, add anything to, to, uh, to the matchup? Uh, no, nah, not at all. You know, it's SEC play, and, you know, Bama's still the standard, so we're going to try to go out there, not try, but we're going to go out there and just play it. To whom much is given, much is required. They said it's a challenge. They said they're going to run the ball. And we're going to do what we're going to do. We do what we do. We're going to be good. That's all I got to say about that one. How did you assess your performance in the first three weeks? Um, I, I say I played pretty well. Of course, like I'm still just the first three games, but uh, there's always room for improvement. I feel like I ain't even really scratched the surface of what I can be yet. It's just y'all just starting to see what I haven't been putting on. Uh, last year was more like a getting my feet wet, but this year is more of like showing I can dominate.